Baltimore wins the tip. Lays it up off the glass. And where's the help? Obviously, a missed rotation. Something they're going to want to patch up. Well, you have to be able to trust each other on the defensive end of the floor. Otherwise, the whole thing is just going to crumble. All right, let's set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. On the floor for Baltimore. Baltimore with the ball. Shot clock at five. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. When the guy is capable of so many things like that on the offensive end, anytime you lose sight of him, he's got a huge advantage. They set the pick. Down low. The shot from the low post is good. That's how you set up your teammates. Done with a little bit of flair. From 13. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Launches it. A shot that time, not on target. And Baltimore going the other way now. Second chance shot. It's blocked. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and, and really a tough break for the beat. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. 157 left to play in the first quarter. Let's it go from 11. There's a good screen. Can't connect from short range. Well, the D did their job there. Excellent contest to alter the close ranger. Got a hand on it. They get it back. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. And this game is tied up now. Working the in-between area, the kind of look that can get you into a rhythm early. Yeah, scratching my head a little bit about how the defense is trying to play this. No one there really contesting the shot. Lock at six. Misses in close. The defensive reaction time, it was just immediate on that one. And sometimes the most important part of that is the angle that the defender chooses. That time, he chose wisely. To the left side wing. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. And he got the whistle, so he'll have a three-point play opportunity. Uh, he has a little bit of trickeration with that one. Gets that one to go against the limb. Wait, did you just say trickeration, GA? I, I think it's a size disadvantage there that he was willing to. Oh, that no way. way. I mean, just beautiful. He's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Baltimore with the ball. With one on the clock, count it. At 
the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Baltimore leads by two. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter. And so it's Louisville with it, trailing by two. There's the pick. Shot from free throw range and off the front iron, and in it goes. Baltimore on offense. And for Baltimore. Off with the layup. <laughs> and I really thought he was going to send that shot the other way, but, but at least he forces the miss. Well, just good timing on his part. Anytime the shooter has to adjust, the defense wins. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Louisville shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Elbow shot. Tip back in for two. Yeah, he plays with a bit of a sixth sense around the offensive glass. Perfect position for the easy tip in. And in on the layup. He has six. And the lead should be safe if they can keep shooting the basketball like this. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. A shot missing. Now Louisville takes it the other way. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. This is his first free throw of the game. That free throw, no good. At the line for two. And he sinks the second. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. To the left wing. Here's the screen. Who's back up? A putback. It's good on the putback. I uh, love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. Headshot off. And Baltimore going the other way now. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Shot clock at five. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. The defensive reaction time, it was just immediate on that one. You know, sometimes the most important part of that is the angle that the defender chooses. That time, he chose wisely. No good with the wing jumper. Yeah, his shot just doesn't seem to be synced up right now. Here's hoping he finds it soon because his team is really going to need that production tonight. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. For Baltimore, they have shot just one free throw, missing that one earlier. Ty 
ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. That misses, so he splits the free throws. You can tell that miss at the line might stick with him for a while. Always hurts to miss a chance to take the lead. Count that one. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Fades away. That one drops for him. Gets it off. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Hello, Show. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal. Well, for Louisville, Kenny, what did you see from them? Well, they showed a lot of discipline on offense, called some high percentage plays. Even when the defense devised different looks, they always seem to have the answer. That's good coaching. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. Well, they're not moving the ball enough, not getting enough assists. See, Arnie, that, that burden falls on the players and the coaches. Guys have got to demand unselfishness from one another. They haven't had a bad game, but the one-on-one -on -one strategy could hurt them down the stretch. That's it for now as the second half. And now the start of the second half. Neither. There's a screen. Banked in off the glass. He's got eight. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And for Baltimore. Takes a shot at the elbow. No good off the back of the rim. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And the shot goes down. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. To the inside. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Louisville leading by four. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. To the wing right side. It's good from long range. And sharp here to start the half. That's three in a row. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. So Louisville calls timeout. They're first. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. To the paint. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one more at the free throw line. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. For Louisville, they've shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Baltimore trails by eight. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Makes it off the glass. He's got six. Oh, check out the handles. Their nasty spin move had his man grabbing for air. There's the screen. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Louisville shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. 
That one falls, so he hits both of them. We've got 155 left in the third. Six on the shot clock. Tries it from nine. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And Louisville making a change here. 131 left in the third quarter of the game. They set the pick. Puts it alive. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And Louisville leads by 10. He's just so efficient, getting his points within the flow of the offense. Great recipe for success. Right around three minutes into the second half. Out to the right wing. There's 38 seconds left here in the third quarter. Five on the clock. Tries again. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Well, he's gotten shots up, but they're not finding the rim. The squad's suffering because of it right now. A bit out of rhythm. And really, this is where you want to just let the clock wind down. Yep, unless you get a great look that's impossible to pass up, use the time wisely. in time but it's off the mark and so it's Louisville going into the break with a 10-point lead their shooting has been the big key their percentage from the field so far has been terrific we'll get right back to the action when we return three quarters in the books folks glad to have you with us Baltimore trails by 10. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. He had a defender all over him. He hits the second from the line. Louisville leading by nine. On the floor for Baltimore. Clock at six. Baltimore with the rebound. Takes it from ten. And he overshot that one, missing. Uh, the defense, not, not so good. I and mean, when you're deep inside like that, you, you got to come through. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. A three hits it from three-point range. And Louisville leads by 12. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? And Baltimore calls time here. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Well, coming out of the timeout, let's see if they go for the outside shot or if they look to go inside, try to build some confidence by seeing that ball go in. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Baltimore's head coach talked to his team during the timeout. He told the guys, it's time to turn it up a little and make a push. We've worked too hard to come away empty-handed. 
Let's put this thing away. Kevin, we'll see if they can get it done. Thank you, David. I'm out cold, Louisville. And he's probably looking at some matchups on the floor he'd like to take advantage of. Now, I'm interested in what he's seeing and then what kind of play they run coming out of this timeout. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Baltimore with the rebound. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Good. Well, here's the problem. He's shooting the lights out, but they're still behind. They need another guy to step up. One fifty-two left in the fourth quarter. There's a good screen. Knocks down the three ball. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result. Yeah, when you fail to get over the top, more than likely that jumper is going to go down. First free throw is good, and that brings them within single digits. And he makes both free throws. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. One twenty-two left in the fourth quarter. They set the pick. Shot off the screen. That shot off. And Baltimore going the other way now. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Louisville leading by eight. Quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Over to the left wing. Baltimore with the rebound. And some very quick points for him on that possession. There's 49 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And the layup's good off the glass. And Louisville leads by eight. Full speed ahead. I mean, they have been in control since the opening tip, and that may have sealed the deal. I can imagine a lot of things right now, but a comeback, that's not one of them. And the basket is good. There's 31 seconds left in the game, and he commits the intentional foul. No good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that makes it a seven-point lead. 30 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Connects. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. 23 seconds left in the fourth, and that's an intentional foul. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. And that will add to a healthy lead after that trip to the free throw line. And Baltimore calls time here. They're down by seven. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now we get a chance to check out our Jordan player of the game. And his percentage from the field tonight seemed almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans love more than getting a big game out of someone other than one of their stars.
down low. Yes! And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. And that's an intentional foul. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. He's able to hit the second one, and that increases their lead to six. 15 seconds left in the game. To the left wing, expanding his range, frames it from downtown. And now they foul and stop the clock. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a five-point game. So important to just stay poised, go through your routine. He did a good job there of just keeping his composure and putting those two away. A three off target. So Louisville wins it. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And that about wraps it up for Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Ulrich. This is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. See you later.